Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday the 13th, December 2013. I'm Leanne McAdoo, and here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight, an active shooter brings about student prisoner training. Then, lawmakers paid to look the other way. And the feds disrupt a fake bomb plot. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. End of everything. Total tyranny. The cops are in the uniforms. They're ready. They're coming. They love Child-sized targets to shoot. Old women targets. Checkpoints. They're tough. A student opened fire in a Colorado high school today, shooting at least two students before he turned the gun on himself. The suspected gunman had identified a specific teacher at Arapahoe High School that he was interested in targeting, but that teacher was escorted from the school safely. Now, interestingly, the student was armed with a Biden-approved weapon. Buy a shotgun. If you want to protect yourself, get a double-barrel shotgun. You know, guess what? A shotgun will keep you a lot safer. A double-barrel shotgun than uh, the assault weapons in somebody's hands who doesn't know how to use it, even one who does know how to use it. So not only was this student armed with the shotgun, but it's also important to point out that the police didn't arrive with their military tanks until after the event was already over. There, they just showed up as a brute show of force and kind of as the cleanup crew, which is what, you know, that's what they do. And then they pr proceeded to treat the remainder of the students like criminals. They marched them in line uh, onto the track. They had them hold their hands above their head and were searching them. And then they brought them to another building and basically had them in lockdown under armed guards rather than releasing them to their families that were there searching for them. They were, the police were processing all of the students. So basically what we're seeing is this huge security show of force. It's becoming a common theme whenever we have these uh, post-tragedy events. The police show up afterward and they come and put everyone on lockdown much like they did in Boston, but they never actually stopped the attacks or did anything to protect the citizens. And that's basically Obviously, we're not making light of this situation, but we want to just reiterate and point out the fact that the government is not going to protect you in these situations. They, they can't, and they're definitely not going to protect you by taking away your right to protect yourself. So that's, uh, that's just something that we wanted to point out with today's tragedy. And then more terror on the TV today. The feds are saying that they thwarted a case that involved a national security matter by stopping a would-be suicide bomber from blowing up the Wichita airport this morning. 58-year-old avionics technician Terry Lee Lowen was arrested earlier as he attempted to use his security pass to drive a vehicle that he thought contained explosives onto the tarmac when in fact, the car contained only dummy explosives. Hmm. Investigators said that Lowen has been under scrutiny since August, when he began having an online exchange with someone he thought was a like-minded individual, but who turned out to be an FBI employee. So in order to justify the ever-growing power of the TSA and the Department of Homeland Security, the FBI is once again creating a terrorist so that they can stop it? Can the federal government take credit for saving us from a plot of its own creation? The FBI has foiled about 17 plots to kill Americans during the past 10 years. They all have a common and reprehensible thread. They were planned, plotted, controlled, and carried out by the federal government itself. In all these cases, agents worked undercover and portrayed themselves to the targets as Arabs of like un-American mind. So this will bring it to a total of 18 terrorist plots that the FBI has manufactured in order that they can courageously stop them. But what is the deal? Why do they keep creating these terrorists? Could it be that there is no real terrorist threat here in America? And in order to justify all the need for militarizing all the police and putting these TSA pods in all of the airports, they have to create terrorists. Doesn't seem like we should be afraid of terrorists here in this country, though. The real threat seems to be our government. But just in time for all of that, defense analysts were uh, at a subcommittee yesterday, and they were warning U.S. lawmakers that there that they should be preparing for war with China. And, of course, that means increasing the military budget. 
So defense analysts told the U.S. House Armed Services Subcommittee yesterday that the Pentagon should begin a massive arms buildup, including additional nuclear submarines. China's military spending has increased threefold in the past 10 years. Currently, they're spending $115 billion. Uh, they're rapidly building up a modernized submarine force and advanced guided missile destroyers. Now, Representative Randy Forbes, who's the chairman of the subcommittee, said that this modernization is emboldening the Chinese government to exert their interests by bullying their neighbors and pushing back the U.S. in the Asia-Pacific region. Now, although yesterday's hearing did include demands to enlarge the already massive military industrial complex, we can't ignore the fact that there really are is a rapidly increasing war tensions going on in Asia with all parties flexing their political bravado. In November, Chinese the Chinese government announced an air defense zone over international waters. The US military of course refused to comply with those uh, those the flight zone and their operations. So in response, China went on the offense in international waters. And they tried to stop uh, the USS Calpins, which is a guided missile cruiser, as it sailed through international waters on December 5th. This resulted in a military standoff. The Calpins refused to comply. They said they were just conducting a routine operation, that they were exercising their freedom of navigation in international waters. And then they had to maneuver their ships in order to avoid a collision with the Chinese warships. So given these unprecedented confrontations, it is a definite possibility that we could actually be on the verge of World War III with China. So although I'm never a fan for increasing the size of the military industrial complex, we're just going to have to wait and see what their plans are. Now coming up, is healthcare.gov selling your information or has the website been compromised by hackers? We will have to wait and see. And then Jakari Jackson will be interviewing Sheriff Mack about potential legislation that could nullify Obamacare. Now, if you are watching this program on YouTube, please consider becoming a member of Prison Planet TV. Your subscription allows you to share your username and password with up to 11 other people at the same time so you can share this message. And we are making it so easy for you to share this message with all your friends and family. It's never been more important to wake your people up. We're making it so easy for you by giving you five months free whenever you sign up for an annual subscription with Prison Planet TV. We'll be right back. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form 
of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back. Now, if you had any doubt that the alternative media has reached the tipping point when it comes to dominating the mainstream news, White House front group Media Matters has vowed to take down alternative media sites like InfoWars and DrudgeReport.com in their quest to do Obama's bidding by influencing the media. Media Matters is the closest thing to actual state media. They set talking points for MSNBC and CNN after meeting with Obama advisors every Tuesday to conduct a weekly strategy call with the White House. One employee bragged about how Media Matters works with the White House to control big media networks, saying of MSNBC, we were pretty much writing their prime time, but then virtually all the mainstream media was using our stuff. Here, Media Matters thinks they're just so amazing as they drive the White House's message. Here, Media Matters thinks that they are so amazing as they drive the White House's agenda. Now, the Obama administration has made use of entertainment outlets in the past to push their agenda. They, they're trying to convince all the brain-dead, entertainment-obsessed zombies that Obama and his policies are trendy and cool, but they, they already know that they have lost the minds of the people who really want the hard-hitting news, and that's why Media Matters has set off with this plan and they're going uh, into the offense. So I'm sure stay tuned for even more personal attacks by Rachel Maddow and her ilk to um, attack our credibility. But actually, at first that kind of worried me, but now I realize it's actually a really, really good sign that we are having a huge effect and we're definitely a thorn in the side of the Obama administration. But as the alternative media is on the rise, you do want to be on the lookout for Operation Mockingbird types setting themselves up as the alternative media instead of their true purpose. Now, whistleblowers are voicing skepticism about the new media organization that's being established by Glenn Greenwald and billionaire PayPal owner Pierre Omidyar. Omidyar is said to have invested a quarter of a billion dollars in the operation in response to rising concern about press freedoms in the United States and around the world. But whistleblower Sebel Edmonds reports that NSA whistleblowers are highly skeptical of this project and its stated objective. And as WikiLeaks points out, it is outrageous that PayPal would be interested in establishing an alternative media organization when it moved to shut down Julian Assange and his organization by cutting off their ability to receive donations over the internet. Now, back in June, prior to the arrangement with Omidyar, Greenwald said that parts of the Snowden cash would never see the light of day. Now, the corporate media, they said that Greenwald was making this assertion uh, based on what James Clapper had said. He accused the media of exploitation and harming national security. But however, according to Edmonds and NSA whistleblowers, the Snowden documents contain information about the relationship between major U.S. financial institutions, including credit card companies and PayPal and the NSA. This is, at least in part, the reason the cash is untouchable, according to Edmonds. Now, Greenwald has really turned his position as the sole purveyor of the Snowden documents into quite the lucrative business. He's got a billionaire in his back pocket while Snowden is staying in hiding for sacrificing his life to get all of this information out to the public. And so far, he has remained silent, but we'll have to see as the story progresses if Snowden has anything to say about you know, if Greenwald is kind of holding these documents hostage and if Omidyar, they're kind of in collusion to release the documents that aren't going to shed light on the fact that PayPal has really, really been uh, connected to the CIA. That article is up on Infowars.com by Kurt Nimmo. It goes into even greater detail of PayPal's close ties to InQtel 
and the CIA. And this is just the beginning of this story. We're going to go uh, much more in depth next week, and we hope to have an interview with SIBO. So, but those are the people that you're supposed to trust to bring you fair and balanced news. But it's not just the journalists that are being paid to turn a blind eye to the NSA. It's also our elected representatives that we are supposed to trust to have our best interests at heart, especially when it comes to deciding the constitutionality of the NSA's spy program. Well, new reports show that every member who sits on the NSA Oversight Committee has received campaign contributions from the top 20 largest intelligence companies in the United States. Now, amid the NSA's scandals, that committee has denied stricter reform attempts to the NSA programs, and instead, they propelled legislation that's aimed at restoring their trust by the American public. Now, the report shows donations amount to over 3.7 million from 2005 to 2013, which pretty much means that they've been being paid off for quite some time to turn a blind eye. Well, I guarantee you that we are not being paid off by the NSA and pushing the Obama administration's agenda. You can continue to get your truthful news here at InfoWars. Now, stick around because Jakari Jackson is going to be speaking with Sheriff Mack. He is going to tell us about some new legislation that could nullify Obamacare. They're hoping to do that in South Carolina, but it could be a precedent for the rest of the United States. And then, after that interview, stay tuned because Alex Jones has an exclusive interview with the new Obamacare mascot. We'll be right back. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. We're on the march, the empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. Nullification. The constitutional concept most often forgotten in today's rule of law has been reinvigorated by wins by people like Sheriff Nick Finch in Florida. Now the state of South Carolina is using nullification to oust Obamacare. Constitutional Sheriff Richard Mack, who is a nullification victor in his own right, talks to us tonight to tell us about nullification and how South Carolina can be successful. Thanks for joining us, Sheriff. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. It's uh, always a pleasure. Always is a pleasure. Now, Sheriff, before we talk about the situation that's going on in South Carolina, can you tell us about nullification and your experiences with it? 
Well, we've done that uh, for many decades now. Sheriffs in uh, Idaho have done it uh, back in 2003. Uh, sheriff in uh, uh, Eureka County, uh, Nevada, did it uh, against uh, the Bureau of Land Management. And uh, even sheriffs in California have been doing it. Um, I did it when I was sheriff uh, back in the 90s. Uh, sheriff Rogers uh, has done it in Indiana. Sheriff Palmer has done it in Oregon. Uh, Sheriff Arpaio has done it somewhat in Arizona. Um, Sheriff uh, David A. Clark Jr. has done it in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Sheriff Finch just did a, a huge uh, one in uh, Florida, and he even got arrested for it. But he uh, laughed at that and uh, beat him at uh, court. And, and so this is not anything new, and I certainly didn't create it. Uh, I helped push it along. And I'm kind of the messenger here about making it go bigger, better, and faster, and more often. And when I sued the federal government back in the 90s when I was sheriff in Arizona, I guess that established a huge precedent, and it was a landmark victory uh, for state sovereignty and for the Tenth Amendment. And now we finally have other state politicians and leaders, uh, specifically in Idaho, uh, in uh, South Carolina, that are paying attention to this and using it. What I've done, said on your show several times is that uh, this is the equation and the formula for stopping Obamacare or any other uh, uh, federal mandate that the states uh, want out of. That's exactly right, Sheriff. And you've been talking about this. You're an advocate for state nullification as well as many other people. We see now uh, people like Ben Swan getting behind state nullification and others, but you're yeah. definitely one of the first people or one of the more prominent people, I should say, to bring about this idea. So for the people who can't exactly wrap their heads around this, you have Obamacare, you have state nullification or nullification in general. How do these things two mix? Well, they they mix. Uh, they don't mix, and that's why you can stay away from it. It, it is oil and water, and the states have the authority uh, through the Tenth Amendment to nullify and stand against uh, anything that uh, comes out of Washington, D.C. that is contrary to state sovereignty. Uh, first and foremost, l let me direct every one of your listeners and the people who pay attention to InfoWars all across the country and perhaps the world. You've got to get a copy of my Supreme Court case. Now, at SheriffMac.com, you can pull off the entire case. It's there. Or at CSPOA, that's CSPOA.org, Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association.org, CSPOA.org, you can get a highlighted version of the case so you don't have to go through the entire case because I've already done that. And I put it in a little pocket-sized booklet. Now, everyone in this country needs to see this so you can see it for yourself, see the evidence, see the proof that this case does exactly what we are saying it's supposed to do, Jakari, and that is provide the states and counties and cities with the ammunition to do exactly what uh, State Rep. Tom Davis is doing in South Carolina through House Bill 3101 that is going to nullify Obamacare for the state of South Carolina. Every state can do it. Every county can do it. Every city can do it. Just start acting on what is already there. And right now we have a Christmas special on this. It's only 80 cents to get this little booklet. You should get dozens of them. Mm -hmm. Pass them around. I have an email right here from somebody else who is forwarding this information to all of their state legislators on an email blast. Okay, so let's make sure we know and understand what we're talking about here. The United States Supreme Court decision, when a couple of sheriffs sued the federal government and won, yours truly being the one who started that, says that the states retained, quote, an inviolable sovereignty, end quote. It also states this. Now, this is the big one being used by South Carolina. Mm -hmm. It states that the federal government may not compel the states to enact or administer a federal regulatory program, end quote. Now, there's a lot of things about in this decision that supports that and substantiates that and completely corroborates what those principles mean. And, I mean, it says so much in here that you've got to see it. There's not time on your show today to, to discuss all these key points. So mm -hmm. people need to get a hold of this, Jakari, and use it for the tool that it was meant to be. And I would also recommend getting the DVD set 
we have everything marked off 50 to 70 percent for Christmas. Get the DVD set that's entitled Erecting the Barriers, because that's exactly what the states and counties and cities are supposed to be doing. This landmark decision spells it out, and it even tells you how to do it. That's and what you need. Right from the U.S. Supreme Court. That's what you need. Somebody from experience. So you're telling them from experience yeah. how to go about these steps. So that definitely uh, makes you an authority on that. And I do encourage our viewers to go out and uh, get those pieces for themselves. Now, Sheriff, we have to move quick. I want to get your your view on a couple of other topics. We see a lot of, uh, I guess you would call it police brutality as of late. There's a situation in California, I believe in Sonoma County, where a young man was carrying a plastic AK BB gun. It had an orange tip. It seems like the officer, well, the officer approached the young man and somehow or other shots were fired and the young man ended up dead. Are you familiar with that case? Yes, I'm afraid so. And others similar to it. What are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, I, I don't believe that uh, we're doing the proper amount of training to avoid those types of things. And uh, we used to train about those things, you know, where a, a, a deaf kid, you know, is approaching you and he has his hand in his back pocket and the cop is yelling at him, stop, stop, or I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot. And the kid hands him out of his back pocket a card saying that he's deaf and dumb. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to get back to some real fundamental training. We've got to train our officers uh, better than we are doing. And I think this is something that lands right on the lap of our uh, law enforcement leaders in this country, our sheriffs and chiefs of police. We've got to do a better job with that. Exactly. Now, Sheriff, uh, how do you feel about tasers for noncompliance? Uh, tasers, uh, you know, were first introduced to law enforcement officers as... Uh, non-lethal, uh, but it's turned out that they have been lethal. And the the officer who used it against a 72-year-old lady, and he's twice her size, you know, he needs to get a new job. Mm. And the other officer who tased a um, eight and a half month old, uh, uh, eight and a half, eight and a half month pregnant woman, wow, he needs to get a new job. Exactly. And l law enforcement community needs to better police itself. And we need to quit jumping the gun, uh, excuse the pun, but we need to quit jumping the gun on shooting situations. And we need to come down on officers who misuse lethal force. And we need to come down on this uh, tasing. Uh, it's, it's far too often. And it's just uh, almost like boys with toys. We need to quit giving so many toys to these guys because when you do, they're going to use them and usually inappropriately. All right. Well, Sheriff, that's all the time we have for today. Sheriff Mac, SheriffMac.com. Thank you for your time, sir. All right. We'll see you later, Jakari. Thanks. Thanks. If nullification sounds like a pretty good idea to you, you can stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up nullification, the rightful remedy. It's available in the InfoWars shop. Pick it up today. And another thing you need to do today is stop by PrisonPlanet.tv. Now, normally it's a 15-day free trial, but for a limited time only, you get five months free, unlimited access. You can share this with your friends. You get the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, and so much more. And don't forget, when Obama Deception 2 comes out, it will be right there as well. So that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again next week. Now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show. Hollywood and the entertainment industry have really tried to turn Barack Obama into a god. And our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Oprah Winfrey has come out and said that if you criticize any of his policies and don't agree with him, you're a racist. This is a very dangerous historical precedent. This is how you get dictators. And Obama has been operating like a dictator. But more and more, they're shifting away from even trying to target the public through the news and they're trying to use entertainment. The sexiest man alive, as he's been dubbed, has now been drafted to come out and push the fraud that is Obamacare. Well, Infowars.com, folks, has an exclusive 
we have gotten the first interview and can reveal the new Obamacare secret weapon, the Obamacare mascot. Years in development. They believe that this will target not just young people, but children. And by interviewing the individual that plays the mascot, we really learned the secrets of how they want us to behave, how they want us to operate. Oh, it's such a blessing to see you, Mr. President. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Oh, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that we've gotten this interview is simply huge. I give you the Obama mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the perfect Obama supporter. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the perfect Obama supporter. He understands politically how to have a stronger country. He understands politically how to have a stronger country. You do what the government and the media tells you. What the government and the media tells you. <laughs> I love you, Obama. I love you, Obama. Vaccines are good for you. Trust a government that's done lethal secret testing. Trust the government that's done lethal secret testing. Be sure and take all the GMO food from the store. Be sure and take all the GMO food from the store. I love communism, collectivism, socialism, progressivism. I love communism, collectivism, socialism, progressivism. Ah. Ah. Wow, you really do support tyranny. Oh, you really do support tyranny. Tyranny is good. We're going to go back to more of this exclusive interview in a moment and even reveal the name of the new mascot. But it's incredible how if we would all just behave like this and repeat what we're told, two plus two equals five, stuff like that, uh, your premiums aren't being raised, uh, you won't lose your doctor. If we would just believe the lie, then the utopia could take place. If you've got health care already, then you can keep your plan if you are satisfied with it. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. I intend to keep this promise. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. I am really honored to be here today with the new Obamacare official mascot, which is just as real as other mythical creatures like Obamacare, Santa Claus, uh, unicorns, uh, and Keebler elves, uh, as well as uh, Puff the Magic Dragon. Uh, and here he is with us today. You are a boy, right? I'm whatever Obama on it and Sadie says. Now the big question that everybody out there is asking, what is your name, little bunny? Obama named me. It's dumbass. Dumbass, dumbass, double, double, dumbass. Incredible. We now know the name of Obamacare. I thought that was the name of Obama supporters, but he says it's double, double, dumbass. Dumbass, dumbass, double, double, dumbass. Well, dumbass, we're out of time. I really appreciate you giving us uh, this exclusive. I know you don't have free will and you're kind of a robot, but I wish that you could be free. I wish that you could have a brain and a heart and a soul and free will. And so I'm going to pray right now that you, you break your trance and actually discover liberty. God, please heal this poor Obama supporter. Please. Oh, my gosh. We're in a total tyranny. We're being dehumanized. Warn everyone. Oh, my gosh. We're in a total tyranny. We're being dehumanized. The answer to 1984 is 1776. The answer to 1984 is 1776. Infowars.com. Infowars.com. Oh my gosh, Bunny, you've become a terrorist like us. Visit Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. <laughs>
Secondly, over the summer, President Obama's administration announced a one-year delay in Obamacare's employer mandate without involving Congress. Thirdly, last year, President Obama's administration granted temporary status to illegal immigrants who entered the U.S. as children without involving Congress. And in June 2012, President Obama's administration provided a waiver initiative for the welfare work requirement under TANF without involving Congress. Obamacare in Hollywood hit the social media platform with one new video spoof by a performer known as Alpha Cat. Healthcare, sign up because it's hot. Sign up because it's hot. Sign up because it's hot. I'm commander in chief and I'm two terms strong and I've got this health care which has got it going on. And ESPN decided to air an Obamacare ad instead of a Catholic hospital ad now, because they found time. Jesus, God, problematic, the like the Obamacare isn't. While their media blitz ramps up, congressional staffers were warned Wednesday not to rely on information provided by the Obamacare Exchange website, even if they technically signed up. The emails tell them they don't have coverage unless they get a confirmation letter from the dispersing office. I'm Gigi Arnetta with Tyranny Watch on the InfoWars Nightly News.